Hi, thanks for attending my five minute talk about whether there can be too much security. So, um, yeah, there's a slide. Uh, my name is Bastian and I work for Cryptomator or on Cryptomator, which is an open source project, obviously, uh, which is a file encryption tool uh, specialized of, on, on encrypting files uh, before uploading them to uh, cloud storage. And yeah, as I said, it's open source. Uh, so we, uh, on, on the one hand, if it's ever bought, it will not cease to exist, um, which is really it just happened to our main competitor. Um, and also, we already heard it multiple times, um, open source is absolutely essential for security tools. We need the transparency, uh, especially when working on cryptography. So there's no need to, to trust our claims. Um, you can check the source code. Um, yeah, we have a very long history in, in making security simple, uh, which also um, made us win the um, CBIT Innovation Award 2016 for usable security and privacy. So um, yeah, time is running, so let's get started with the topic. First of all, please let me introduce a topic or a concept that we call um, net security and gross security. So um, we always have to um, take the human factor into account. And if we subtract uh, the human factor, then um, yeah, what's left is the net security. The gross security is what we try to achieve by applying some policies or by uh, developing tools. But the net security is the actual security that we get at the end of the day. All right, so maybe apply an example. Um, we, are, we all know that we need passwords and passwords increase the security. And good passwords increase security even more. But what we um, saw earlier this century, some companies applied even more policies. For example, we need, needed to change our password every month. And it turns out that um, the net security decreased because yeah, password was just like June 2011 or something. Um, easy to guess. And yeah, so this is what we call <laughs> too much security. Um, Okay, so what does it mean for our requirements engineering? Um, typically, the product owner would want the best possible security. And what he has in mind is like this, what Hollywood teaches us, what like seven factor authentication looks like. And I don't say this is wrong, but in most cases, we don't work for secret, top secret government organizations and um, if we don't do so, um, we need to make some assumptions about our users and maybe this is our user. Maybe our requirements engineering need to take these, the unknown user into account and this user might stick with his hacky solutions and say, hey, cool, you have some great tool, but I will stick with my own solution despite us being insecure. Um, and yeah, we as application developers need to, or maybe we want to predict the effect of our tools. Um, but yeah, what we actually want to predict is the effects that our tools have on the net security. So we need to eliminate the human factor. And how do, do we do this? So the most essential thing is that we must make sure not to outpace the adoption rate of our tools or policies. Um, and yeah, like, yeah, I, I will give you a few examples um, where the adoption rate of some um, measure was taken into account in decision making um, at Cryptomator. So um, Cryptomator will mount a virtual uh, drive. Um, and this virtual drive is obviously available to all processes on your uh, computer. And some information security enthusiasts might find this debatable but it actually fits our security target as we want to protect files in the cloud, not on your local machine. And um, yeah, otherwise users would just not adopt the tool. Um, furthermore, we um, use some set of predefined uh, cipher suites. We, as yeah, my grandma doesn't actually know some um, algorithm names. So this is predefined. And we have in our newest product, Cryptometer Hub is our solution for teams. We have a moderate session timeout, which is also configurable because yeah, we don't want to annoy the users. So now what? Um, there are some best practices. 
Um, we heard it before. We need to make sure uh, to know our users. We need to um, yeah, identify the use cases. And um, we have to question ourselves, do we need the same level of uh, confidentiality or security across the whole application? And also, we want to make some uh, usability tests um, and ask whether uh, the current behavior of users, uh, yeah, how, how do they achieve their security goals? Um, and are they even willing to accept some extra steps um, for added security? Or would they take shortcuts, like in the example with the door, which is blocked with a stone? OK, I think uh, time is up. Um, so yeah, this is um, where you can um, yeah, file complaints if you disagree with some of my opinions. And um, yeah, I hope to, if you don't know CryptoMeta already, please give it a try. Thank you.